Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, today, I'm going to start a new series on my channel that's similar to my Nostalgia Corner series of videos, uh, just a little bit different. Instead of pulling something out of my home theater and going over, you know, the history of why I have it and my nostalgic memories and things about that item, uh, this series is going to be about pulling a single piece of media, most likely a DVD or a Blu-ray, or maybe a CD or video game, but pulling a piece of media specifically out of my collection and explaining why I own that specific piece of media. And the whole reason I came up with this idea uh, is based off of the very first DVD I'm going to talk about here today, and that is this Jurassic Park DTS DVD. Now, I've been on the hunt for this DVD for quite a while, uh, trying to find it at a reasonable price. Uh, you can find these on eBay and other secondhand sites. They range from like five, six, seven dollars up to like ten or twelve dollars a piece. Usually, you know, they include shipping sometimes, sometimes they don't, but you usually find them in that ballpark. I just happened to stumble across this at a Goodwill outlet, the bin store, um, not even a week ago from when I'm recording this, and I only paid a dollar for it, and I couldn't pass that up. The disc was in good condition. It wasn't all beat up to where, you know, it was unplayable. But the whole reason I own this and the whole reason for these videos going forward is that this specific DVD release is the only one to my knowledge that carries the theatrical audio mix that was ported over from the DTS Laserdisc that came out in the 90s. Now, if you've seen this out anywhere at you know a video store on eBay at thrift stores whatever you've probably seen this artwork that's on here but it most likely doesn't include the DTS logo on top it's just the one sheet artwork that's here and that is a Dolby digital version of this disc uh, which those are way more commonplace and and basically what you find out there this DTS one's a lot harder to come by uh, and specifically for this movie, it's a little bit uh, more readily available for the sequels, uh, The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3. But the original Jurassic Park, it's somewhat hard to come by, uh, at a reasonable price at least. And so like I said, the whole point of me buying this and wanting to own this specific DVD release is because of that DTS sound mix. Since I don't have a Laserdisc player, this is the closest thing I can get to having a theatrical audio mix for Jurassic Park. And it's one of those things, it's one of the few movies, handful of movies that I have in my collection that I own duplicates of. Because I already own, if I'm gonna grab this off camera, I already own this set which is the uh, ultimate trilogy of the first three Jurassic Park movies. And the picture quality on this is really good, uh, although this one is still serviceable. Uh, the picture quality is really good on this one and better than a lot of later releases of these movies. And the audio on this isn't bad, uh, but it's up mixed to a 7.1 mix, which was not the case when it released theatrically. And... It's good, but doing some A-B comparisons that I've done already, I prefer the mix on this. Uh, this one is way more uniform, and all the speakers are more engaged on this one, but the dynamic range of the audio is a lot better on this, on the standard DTS mix that was ported over, because this one has a more flat response amongst all the speakers and they move sound effects around to the rears and sides and stuff that weren't on the original mix but the dynamic sound levels on this are not as good um i noticed just some little things on this already just in my quick you know, a b comparison going through a couple scenes where you can pick out some more minute details in the sound of little creaking and little you know, just background noises on this one that you don't get on the Blu-ray disc. And you get, like I said, the dynamic range. So you get the real high peaks of like the T-Rex roaring and things down to real quiet moments where you can hear the little background noises that you don't hear in the other mix. 
And while this one doesn't engage the surround speakers as much, uh, this one is the more theatrically accurate sound mix. And that is the whole reason why I own this in my collection. So with that being said, I'm trying to keep these videos short, like under 10 minutes, you know, somewhere between five and 10 minutes. So I'm not droning on too long. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm going to try and film a few more of these uh, in uh, short succession here to get out on the, the channel about some other DVD and other movie releases I own. So uh, like I always do, I want to say thanks to everyone who's watched any of my videos or liked and subscribed out there. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.